Hey guys, I'm out in the shop today and I'm working on this old uh, mountain bike that I found in the garbage. It's an old Norco. The chain was completely seized on it, so I've been spraying some lubricant on it, let it sit for a while, and I took some pliers and I moved it around to get it loosened up, uh, added some air to the back tire, and it seems to work all right. And I thought I might be able to use it on a project. So it's been a while, I've been doing a lot of uh, repair videos and car videos, so I said, okay, it's time that I do some sort of invention video and maybe think of a project that I've been wanting to do for a while and that is taking one of these little reel mowers and putting it on a bicycle and having a human powered bicycle lawnmower. So that's what I'm going to work on today. This isn't going to be a very big project. As you can see, uh, the mower has wheels on it so I'm not going to be recreating the wheel. I'm just going to take the uh, top part off. I'm going to figure out a way to weld that bottom part to the forks while trying to maintain some sort of angle that will keep me from flying over the handlebars. I don't think it'll be that hard so let's get started. I'm going to start by disassembling the mower. Now we'll take that front wheel off. So now I'm going to bring the mower over and try to align it to see where the contact points are going to be and how I'm going to attach it. All right, so I just got the bicycle flipped upside down. I got my welder ready, so we're going to start welding some stuff. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put a brace um, across the front here of the mower, and that's going to uh, a weld here at the bottom of the forks. I'm just going to notch the little end here and uh, weld that there. And then I'm going to weld the top here. And then I might put a couple of braces. We'll see. I pushed really hard on this thin little tubing and it seems to hold my weight pretty good. So I may just uh, weld those together and take it for a run, abuse it a little bit and see if it needs any reinforcing. All right, so that's welded up and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, before I flip it over, I've got this uh, couple of pieces of quarter inch stainless round bar. Uh, and I'm just gonna add two more little braces. Just here and then one on the opposite side. Just to give a little more support to these short little pieces here. I think all of this is plenty strong, but I'm just concerned about any lateral load on this thin, thin tubing. So a little brace should help. All right, so test drive's done and I kind of have mixed emotions. It works and you'll see, but bicycles are made to lean when they turn. So when we turn the wheel on this thing, or more specifically when we turn the mower, um, the bike leans in the opposite direction. And I'm not sure if I know how to balance enough to continue to drive this thing. So anyway, I'm gonna paint it up and we'll see. I'm gonna get it on a nice flat section, give it a shot. But either way, it is kind of fun to drive. All right, so um, I guess the steering part isn't as bad as I originally thought. Uh, when you do get on really uneven ground, it does want to pull you, but uh, if you force hard enough, you can kind of keep the bike straight. Also, you really need to boogie. 
like I have it in first gear, like the easiest speed that I can get it, but you really have to push hard and you have to pedal. And my left leg is still a little weak, so I struggle a little bit, but once I get going, it's not so bad, but uh, it's actually quite fun. I'm really out of breath right now, as you can tell. I made uh, five or six little strips there. Um, so I'm gonna load it up and head to the in-laws and try it on their big lawn. All right, so I'm back from my in-laws, and one thing that I did find was, I mentioned this earlier, if I turn, the bike leans the opposite way. This makes it really difficult to ride, and I'm not satisfied leaving it like that. So I think I need some sort of pivot down here so that when this turns, we can still do the bike the same way. So I need some sort of articulation here. So I think what I'm going to do is cut all of this stuff off, and a bit of reinforcement here, and I'm going to make some sort of cross brace here with some sort of pivot. Nice, nice and low, so it's almost in line with where the fire would be fitting. So uh, I'm going to think something up and start cutting. All right, so I have something there that swivels. I'm not 100% sure it's gonna work, so I'm gonna go test drive it before we look at bracing or painting. All right, so I won't say that this is perfect, but it's pretty darn close. I'm just gonna kick the stand off of it now, and you can see it leans, we can turn, and I just roll over to the neighbors. I'm out of breath again, but even around the bumps and hills and stuff, as long as you can keep the speed, you're able to turn a little harder than a bicycle, but uh, you can turn and you can go with the, with the ruts and you can steer where you wanna go. You can keep your balance. So it's actually uh, pretty sweet. Pretty happy with that. So now I'm just gonna give that a quick scuff and uh, paint it. And uh, yeah, it's a much cleaner design than earlier. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna try to get some footage on my front lawn, trying it out. I kind of wish the neighbor kid would be outside because he's got more energy than me. Let's see if I can't flag him down. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna set up a tripod and give this a shot. Well, that's going to be it for this video. This was a super fun project and I hope you guys liked it. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And I'll see you in the next one.